Okay, everybody, let's welcome two of the teammates from Torque GC. We are joined by Carlos Ortiz and Mito Pereira. Welcome, guys. Thank you. You guys both had excellent rounds today. Carlos, you shot eight under, and Mito, you had a bogey-free round of seven under. Tell us a little bit about your day. Let's we'll start with you, Mito. Yeah, um, really solid. I mean, a couple of mistakes of the tee, but overall, uh, on the greens, really good. Second shots, uh, just solid and... Um, I'm just happy to to start like this uh, this this week. And Carlos? Yeah, um, it was actually really fun. It, I started good and 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 finished solid. Um, it was really really nice playing with these guys. They they hold it out in two holes in a row, so it was. It felt like we were getting some momentum our way. Um, I'm really happy the way I played and and just get it going. It's really nice playing in front of, of Australians and the crowds were awesome today. Do you guys enjoy playing together as a team? Do you think it helps you play a little bit better? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think, I mean, obviously we're very close and we know each other and sometimes we know when to talk and when to not. Uh, obviously playing well helps to build that momentum and I mean, we played solid and Sebastian was with us. He didn't finish that well, but we were had like a, a really good round of like trying to push ourselves uh, as a team. And Carlos, what was your experience today on the watering hole? Tell us a little bit about that. It actually was our first hole, and it was great. It was probably as calm as he was going to get all week. Uh, but it was great. I mean, we both started with a birdie, and I think that got, that got it going. Um, it's an awesome hole. It, it's great playing in front of crowds. And, and honestly, the, the people were awesome, you know, cheering us up. And um, it's really nice playing with, with a lot of people around. Love it. I'm going to take it over to Mike. Carlos, can you just talk about your form coming in? It feels like the last three tournaments, you kind of the results are starting to get a little bit better than than the first two tournaments. Yeah, um, <laughs> I was definitely a little bit rusty the first two tournaments, but uh, I I actually felt like I was in in good form. I was just not in play form, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that explains it, but uh, I feel great. I think I'm trending. I feel like my my game is 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 in a in a great spot right now, and and you know, I'm, I'm enjoying it right now. It's it's good when you when you have a show in your mind and it actually comes out like you you're thinking about it. And, and Mito, kind of a, a similar question: Have you have you been frustrated this season with the results? Yeah, I mean, not the the start that that I would like, but um, I played solid in Miami too. The last day, just one really bad day, but um, I've been trying to work hard and trying to get my my game where where it was last year or even better. And in this one question, as a team, uh, obviously you guys had a lot of success during the regular season last year. You get Nancy to to get back at the top of the podium. I would definitely like to win with Torque. We haven't win with Torque. Um, they had a great year. I was not part of it, uh, so I definitely want to get a win with the, with my boys. Mito. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, we just need to get that four rounds, uh, good rounds at the the last day, and think we can get that. Raise your hand. Anyone question over there? Just to both guys, there are a lot of low scores today. Obviously, we saw Taylor Gooch shoot two sixty twos last year, but there were more low scores across the whole board. Do you envision that over the next two days happening again? Do you see a really low total winning? I, I think if we keep the wind wasn't really blowing the heart. I think if the wind stays the way it is, and with the rain we got yesterday, I think it definitely. Sets up the golf course pretty gettable, uh, especially if you put it in the fairway. Uh, it's just one of those golf courses that, if you're in good position, you can you can be a little bit aggressive, and at the same time, if, if you just get just a little bit out of position, it's, it's actually really hard to get to get back into position. Make, you know, if you're short side yourself here, you're probably gonna make a bogey. Anyone else over here? Thank you. Oh, both guys. Um, the uh, the playing uh, of three team members in the one side in the one pairing um, is that does that happen often? Is that does it just happen in Adelaide or every first round is it the, is the same case? I remember last year they did the same, but I don't know if if, if there was another tournament last year that a couple tournaments a year. A couple tournaments, yeah. But I think th this is the first one of the year. Yeah, and, and obviously you enjoy it. it it's that uh, doesn't put any more pressure or less pressure on on as you play. 
No, I mean for us at least uh, we enjoy it. I don't know if the other guy, the other teams, but I think we we had a great day and we enjoyed it. Okay. Anyone else? Okay, great. Good luck tomorrow, guys. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you, guys.